Okay, getting ready for round three. A um, little bit of an unfortunate way to lose in round two. I still think my play was correct. Um, though I am looking up... Uh, how many salties is, is stock for... Uh, living in because that 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 is a uh, yeah. So I see two subtleties in the board. Is like the uh, stock amount. So I feel like making the play that only loses to two subtleties and is almost a guaranteed win. Otherwise, it is probably correct. Um, uh, this hand's great. You know, we get to go amulet into dryad. Um, probably will end up just developing the mana with the Dryad rather than uh, keeping the Saga in play, but I suppose um, we'll see. I mean, a lot can happen. For example, uh, things might change if I draw a Crumbling Vestige, then I can keep the Saga in play. Uh, but as of now, my, my plan is probably Simic into castle because uh, that sets up a titan even if uh, you know the saw uh, the dryad ends up uh, dying opponent doing some can tripping uh, they just attacked us for two with ragafan and then used the treasure so really all they've done is they effectively spent one mana on the Ragavan um, to do two damage to us, which is a, uh, you know, an interaction that I am, I am more than happy to accept. Maybe, maybe uh, setting up for the double amulet is actually good. So if I have the castle in play, I can even go for Colossus with the double amulet, even if Dryad dies. So yeah, I'll, I guess, um, I guess I'll just Dryad and castle and pass, get to double amulet, um, and then we can go something like Colossus, and then if the Colossus gets countered, we can uh, tighten next turn. That's fine. Uh, I'm more than happy with my opponent two for wanting themselves. And if they don't, if they aren't able to keep up counter spell or dress down mana, they just lose, so. Uh, okay, this looks like counterspell mana. Oh, what's this? Merc died. Cool, so winning the game. Suppose I should play the Primeval Titan before the Colossus for max value. Good chance they just concede when they see the Titan. Um... Just spewing value. If I was going for max value, I would have uh, left put the bounce land in hand because it sets up for like another Colossus, but uh, I think this is much more than sufficient. Okay, so I want Foundation Breaker. I don't want Force of Vigor. This is just for Blood Moon and Cavern of Souls and Bajukabog in um... 
think maybe just Saga's out because of Blood Moon. Um, just have a mana base that is sort of Blood Moon proof and heavy on caverns. I, I'll probably bring in some number of Sagas on the play, but on the draw, uh, I just don't like the way they die to Blood Moon. And I'll couple in Colossus. And yeah, I think I've just got maybe we cut one turn timber symbiosis because Colossus can be cast on cavern and that probably wins the game yeah so just four cavernous souls and a bajuka bog seems like the main way I'm sort of just trying to attack this matchup uh Sure, I'll keep this. Bajuka Bog is pretty powerful. The ramp in this hand is a little anemic, but uh, oh, that's nice. So uh, I'll cavern on Nymph. Sure, this is fine. Uh, notably, we have three Valakuts in our deck, so this uh, there's a very real sort of just plan of just Dryad getting there on its own. Especially with Torpor Orb in play, okay. Well, if they Torpor Orb and... Um... Hmm, so Grazer, Grazer's just a 0-3. I want to bog them now. Yeah, if they blood moon, torpor and blood moon, we're in pretty bad shape. Uh, I'll bog them now. Uh, we might bounce and replay it at some point, but uh, I just don't want to lose this drive to an unholy heat, and I don't want Murktai to just get me too quickly. Um. Uh, maybe we should have uh, brought in uh, Frog Emoth. I guess that's a consideration for next next game. Badly, do I want to set up Titan next turn? Kind of want to leave myself open to like Valakut then next turn, and I also might want to just pick up Bog and replay Bog if they put too much in the graveyard. Um, and uh, if they Blood Moon, the Summoner's Pact might be for. Uh, Another Dryad. In which case it'd be good to have the mana developed. Yeah. Well, this is nice. So Cavernous Souls on Giant, I suppose. And Cavern of Souls on Beast. And I'll Sumner's Pact. I suppose I'm leaving myself dead to Blood Moon, but if they have Blood Moon, they would have. Played it already. Spell Pierce. Uh, suppose. Suppose I'll pay for Spell Pierce.
And in this case, I think I might just grab another Dryad, honestly. Just go for the land drops. Just start machine gunning them down. Titan just seems so far from doing anything ever, so... Uh, we're dead to Blood Moon. Uh, Unholy Heat can kill Dryads, but uh, if they had Unholy Heat, I think they would have cast it by now. Uh, if they Merc Tide, it's not really a big deal. Our life total is not really under pressure, especially with this Grazer. And it just takes away Unholy Heat from so, like, I'm actually sort of just happy about this Merc Tide. Uh, so do I shoot the Merc Tide or do I just go face? I think I'm just gonna go face. really afraid of the Merc Tide. Opponent concedes. I wasn't actually planning on attacking this turn, but uh, maybe they just don't have any single card that can answer both Dryads left in their deck. Especially uh, especially with uh, without Delirium. Alright, cool. Uh, beat a tricky matchup. Lost to a good matchup. Uh, see everyone for the next round.